today we'll speak about the pros to investing in passive income. Provides financial freedom. Something that passive income creates that a lot of stock market investments don't are consistent streams of income. It's a retirement option. This is the perfect place to transition into talking about how the possibilities with passive income are limitless. It makes you money while you sleep. This is the investment that is the most scalable. Passive income is something that I have fallen in love with over the course of my YouTube career. Sadly, a week ago, we had to talk about the downsides to passive income. Here on Don't Fear Finance, we always make sure to look at both sides of a debate, especially when it comes to the finance niche, of course. So let's look at the pros to investing in passive income streams. Before we continue, make sure to like and subscribe with notifications on. Comment down below what you want to see next. Now, let's get into the video. One, provides financial freedom. Financial freedom is the concept of making your assets pay for your liabilities and lifestyle. As passive income is created through different types of cash flow, it falls into the asset column. It is an asset that will gain you profit each month without the worry of buying or selling. Passive income streams like rental properties, dividend stocks, and businesses that you've made passive are passive because they are making you income through things like rent, paybacks, and profits while you sleep. These are things that help you gain financial freedom as they create positive cash flow without you having to worry about running it or selling or anything that isn't passive. Something that passive income creates that a lot of stock market investments don't are consistent streams of income. If you look at companies such as Tesla or even Amazon, you won't be creating consistent income through capital gains when you sell. The compound interest you gain is completely different from one company to another. Passive income streams on the other hand like rental properties are consistent with their income. For example, you're renting out a property for $2,000 per month. The expenses for the home are $1,000. You are left with $1,000 per month no matter what you did in that time period. The same thing goes for companies that provide dividends to their customers. Take the S&P 500 dividend yield for example. They have a 1.6% dividend yield per year. This means that if you invested $550,000 into this fund, then you'd get $10,000 per year back in dividends or $880 per month in passive income. If the S&P 500 didn't change the dividend rate, then you would be sure that you're getting $880 back per month. Quick heads up, dividend stocks and funds will change over time depending on the value of the stocks they hold or the value of the stock in general. It won't stay the same because the company value is always changing. Let's say that at the beginning of 2020, the value of Apple went down because of the global pandemic and then it rose back up because the government was pumping more money back into the economy. The funds and the companies that gave out these dividends would have changed how much they would give back to their investors depending on the time of year. Dividends in general just aren't as consistent as other investments like rental properties. It's a retirement option. What do we mean by this? Well, since passive income is making you money when you aren't working, you could be making money through your assets for the rest of your life. Many investors and people who have been investing and working towards passive income streams will tell you that it's a great idea to prepare your assets to last a long time. In the book, Rich Dad, Poor Dad, Robert Kiyosaki talks about a story that involves one of his friends. The friend comes to him and says that he wants to prepare for retirement and build up a fund for his children's education. Robert tells him to buy a rental property that is undervalued with a small down payment. He did so. This created passive income for his friend. After five years, this friend sold this property and bought an apartment building which created a larger sum of passive income. After a few more years, his friend sold that building and repeated the process. When his kids went to university, he could pay for it with the money he had saved up without having to worry about money. He used this passive income to retire off. This is the perfect place to transition into talking about how the possibilities with passive income are limitless. There are many ways to expand your wealth using passive income. One example is utilizing the income you get from your investment or the capital capital gains that you made from selling that asset. The more you invest, the more likely you'll be able to create massive amounts of wealth. If you're young like I am, then you should start investing a lot of money into scalable assets like rental properties and businesses. There is a low risk and very high chance of incredible reward. If you did this later on in life, then there would be a much higher risk and maybe a lower reward. I want to look at the different investments that I've mentioned and see which one has the most advantages that I've listed. I think it's best if we talk about rental properties, of course, dividend stocks, and the business that you built. Let's begin with rental properties. Does it provide financial freedom? Yes. It creates passive income through the rent that it produces. 
if you want to make it completely passive without having to worry about dealing with tenants, plumbers, and many other people, then you can hire a team to do those things for you. Does it create consistent streams of income? Yes. Most of the time when things are running well, it creates the same amount of profit each month. This could be a retirement option if it is completely passive. It makes you money while you sleep. If you again have a team working for you, then it could be something that you don't even have to touch. This is a very scalable investment. If you buy a home under value, you could sell it for double the price that you bought it for in a few years time, like I mentioned in the story with Robert Kiyosaki's friend. If you do this over a course of 20 years, you could scale it to a massive level. Next, we have dividend stocks. This does provide financial freedom once you invest enough money. Unlike real estate, it costs hundreds of thousands of dollars invested just to get a few thousand dollars a month in passive income. Yes, it does provide financial freedom, but with a big upfront cost. Does this create a consistent stream of income? If the company does not change the percent yield for the dividends, then yes. The thing with dividend stocks is how the company may change what they are giving back to their investors depending on the value of the stock and their income for that quarter. Is this a good retirement plan? It depends. The percentage of the dividend changes over a course of time. This means that this isn't something that you should solely base your future off of. Dividend stocks and funds are not something that are easy to scale. They are only scalable to the lengths that the business that you're investing in is willing to scale it to. Finally, a business that you built. First off, does it provide financial freedom? After a certain period of time it does. They say that it takes 10 to 15 years until it becomes somewhat passive. They also say that nine in 10 businesses fail in the first five years. So it may take quite a bit of time before it will ever become close to passive income. Is it consistent? No. You could be making a thousand percent ROI one year and be making less than 200% the next. That does not seem consistent to me. Could you retire off of it? If you've invested in it and made sure that those investments were passive, then yes. Otherwise, probably not. If you have just saved up the money that you made from running that business, then you'll be living off of it like a savings plan, which is not the smartest idea. This is the investment that is the most scalable. You could grow a business to be worth as much as Amazon or Apple. The sky is the limit here. Anyways, that's the video for today. Passive income is something that people should have in their portfolio. Although we know what the downsides are, we could easily tell that the pros outweigh the cons. Thank you again for watching until the end. Make sure to like and subscribe if you enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next video. Video.